Hello future ClickBank product sellers. Welcome back to my tutorial training. Today is part eight, setting up your ClickBank sellers account. Okay, so basically you head over to clickbank.com and then click on the sign up button and then fill out the information, just the basic registration information, name, phone number, address. Now I already have an account, so I'm not going to go over through how to set up or register your account. I'm pretty sure you guys can do that on your own. It's quick and easy, so go ahead and do that. And once you're registered, head over to your dashboard and click on vendor settings. And the first thing on the sub menu is the my site. So this is what it looks like right here. And initially it'll be blank all these information but I already have something set up a long time ago so you can see it already filled out my site status activated but yours will not be at first so to edit say customer support information click here to edit okay so here's what it looks like just enter in your vendor brand so this will be seen in the customer notification emails and receipt that they will receive once they purchase your product. Your customer service email, uh, that's important, you should have that. Customer service website, if you have a ticketing system or a contact form, you can add that here. Otherwise, you do not need to add a customer service website a link if you don't want to. And also your customer service phone number, you don't need to have that either. And then save changes when you're ready. Okay, the next step is the marketplace information. Let's click on edit. So with this account, I had a product earlier. And you need to select your appropriate category for your marketplace listing. The funny thing is you need to request the category change anytime you make a change to your product category. So I already have something going with a different category at this time. So anyways, first time you don't need to request category change, you just select the category and then it will be submitted for approval once you save. Okay, so pretty much a marketplace listing, your product name, make sure you enter that in, your product name, and offer information, details about your new product, make sure you try to sell it with something unique, a more attractive a description. Commission rate, the standard is 75%, but you can go uh, 50% or higher, 75% or even higher if you want. Affiliate tools URL, if you have a uh, affiliate tools page with banners or swipe emails for your affiliates, you can add that here. Affiliate support email, if you have email and you should probably have something for your affiliates to contact you with. Okay, so now the default hop link. So this is your main product URL the front end product, add that right here. And the mobile hop link, if you have a different mobile friendly sales page, you can add that here. And down here is if you want to create additional hop links. Okay, let's click save changes. Okay, next step, the injection code. So this is really important for you to have on your sales page or else it won't be approved at the Clickback Marketplace. So pretty much, Copy this right here, and you need to add this to your sales page above the closing header tag. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, head over to your HTML editor. So here I'm using Composer, and if you're new to this training, I've set up in my previous tutorials how to set up your sales pages right here, and upsell, downsell pages, how to upload your website files and all that in my previous training tutorial. So you can check that out. Okay, so go back here and down here where it says source, click on this button. It'll give you the source code of your sales page. Now let's go up near the top. You will see something called a head and we need to add the code in between the head tag. So find the closing head tag, which is right here. So exactly uh, like they want just above the closing header tag. So let's go back here, pretty much place your cursor here, hit enter to create a space and then paste. And there is your ClickBank trust badge. 
and let's go back to design and you won't be able to see the clickbank trust badge since it does take about 15 minutes to show up and also in the html editor it won't show up but it will show up in your browser okay now we need to do the same for the upsell and downsell or all of your product sales pages same thing go to the top find the top head and then hit enter paste in the exact same code and do the same thing for the downsell okay just like that save everything okay so that's it for this part right here now the next part so this allows you to send messages to your affiliates so that's a nice thing to have so enable that and clickbank insights so make sure you turn this on right here let's click on edit uh, this will allow your account to be shown up and recommended so this is good to have uh, it's extra promotions and it's free so make sure you enable this uh, since I'm not selling anything at the moment for this particular account, that's why I have it as disabled. Okay, moving on. Let's go to the next part. Order form control. So make sure you allow uh, PayPal. And then leave the default single opt-in checkbox. And this is for uh, European customers. So just leave that as default. That's pretty much it for that part. And then add tracking code if you have any kind of pay per click or analytics uh, programs to track your conversion rates, you will use that here. And this is more of an advanced feature and most people won't have to deal with this anyways. Okay, advanced tools. Advanced tools, you don't need to mess around with this. It's for developers to run scripts to integrate with their own uh, system such as memberships and things like that. So you probably don't need to mess around with this if you're just selling uh, digital products and testing your products and you can generate a test credit card number here. This is actually really useful for testing your sales funnel when you have it set up. Okay, now automatic upsells right here. Let's click edit. So make sure you check the box to show automatic upsells on your confirmation page. And also there's no exclusion for the universal pitch plus exclusions and that's the default anyways just leave that as is okay the next part here managing your affiliates enable email based attribution uh, this is for an advanced uh, feature that you don't need to mess around with it's just uh, default as off is for when you want to credit affiliates that didn't use the hop link or the affiliate link and uh, they will get credit through the email based attribution system and again you don't need to mess with this most likely you never need to uh, do this so leave that alone or off and then down here blocked affiliates if you want to disable or block an affiliate blacklist an affiliate if they have like bad sales number bad traffic and most likely you never have to deal with this since Clickbank is relatively safe since all new affiliates are on automatically delayed affiliate payments I'm pretty sure they block affiliates themselves any any affiliate that brings in the bad fraud numbers chargebacks and all that so I'm pretty sure they deal with that already okay so that's pretty much it for the vendor settings and uh, let me know if you have any questions that's it for this part 8 and in the next part I will set up product listing and then set up the sales funnel at clickbank okay uh, stay tuned for those thanks again and if you haven't already done so be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more internet marketing tips tricks and tutorials thanks again and happy marketing